I forgot, last week I wanted to ask you for your Super Bowl predictions. Remember last year I did that and I, I think I got half right. I think I, I screwed up on the San Diego Chargers part, but I'll give you my predictions. This is my, my early, early predictions. Kansas City Chiefs and Green Bay Packers. It was a toss up between Kansas City and Denver, but I'm, I'm not so sure Denver has that staying power and I, I'm not sure what's going to happen with Peyton Manning. I was pleasantly surprised by watching the 49ers play this last week. It, it, there was parts of it that looked like the old 49ers team, so that was pretty cool. And then I watched the Oakland Raiders game too. And... <sighs> Hey, I'm sure you noticed my uh, new t-shirt, my banana slug t-shirt. I got Wyatt moved into college yesterday. Hi, Wyatt. This is one of the most famous college mascots in the world. It's the banana slug. And I think it's mainly because of Pulp Fiction. You may remember the scene in Pulp Fiction where, where John Travolta had on this exact shirt, except it was reversed. He had the light color version. There's two versions of this shirt. But he, anyway, he says Fiat slug, which means let there be slug. But we got him moved in and moving into college is just, it's. It's overwhelming. There were just so many people and so many things you got to try to figure out and we tried to get him into the dorm and he met his new roommates. He's got a dorm room with two other roommates. And then it was time for us to leave and come on home. And we live about two hours away from Santa Cruz. So it's not that far and I hope Wyatt can come home once in a while. It's a very funny thing because I remember when Wyatt was born and when he was really little and old people would say, wow, you know, that whole 18 years, it goes by like that and they're gonna be in college. And I'd be like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then, well, here I am 18 years later and he's in college and yeah, it, it does go by really fast. But you know, what are you gonna do? There's that, there's, you can't stop time. I wanna give a quick shout out to Patrick Knapp who sent me four walnut boards. And I think these are from his yard. I think they're from a tree that he cut down. And you know, there's something about walnut. I think walnut is the only wood that I would be able to identify by smell. I can just smell that walnut and I, I just know it's, it's walnut. I'm not sure if there's others I would be able to identify that way, but I'm pretty sure if there was a blind sniff test, I would be able to tell walnut. Anyways, thanks again, Patrick. I really appreciate that. Hope you guys enjoyed the plane video. Two kinds of planes, biplane and I guess monoplane, right? I wanted these to be really easy to make so you know anybody could build them. And I first designed the biplane but the fuselage didn't quite look like a biplane fuselage to me. And so then I had this brilliant idea of just removing the top wing and it looked like that. And I thought, well, that's cool. I can do it two different ways. As far as a design point, the only thing I really struggled with was how to attach the wheels, which is why I came up with the little post there to hook them in. And I'm not sure if there's a better way to do that. I thought about making some sort of a piece that came down and then curved a little bit and put the, the axle through, but it looked bulky to me. The other thing I wanted to mention about the planes were the wheels. A few people suggested using a hole saw to make the wheels, and I've tried that in the past, but it just seems like, well, you can make them, of course, round, and it comes with the hole already in the middle by doing that, but, you know, they're flat, so you've got to, you can't get this nice curved part over the wheels and to me it just took a lot of effort and by the time I finished sanding them smooth they were kind of uneven so maybe I'm just not really good at that technique but it, to me it's just one of those things that I can go to the craft store like Michael's and pick up a, a whole bag of these for a few dollars and it just seems easier. Maybe it's not pure woodworking, but then again, I use a lot of dowels and I don't make my own dowels either. So I don't know. I don't know where that line is drawn. Like I said in the video, I'm bringing these with me to Kansas City. So they'll be part of the raffle. That should be fun. Raising a lot more money for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. I hope they survive the journey. You know what I'm going to do? I, I called the airline because I wasn't really sure if you could just check in a cardboard box in, as part, part of your checked luggage. And they said, yeah, that's fine. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm packing up a bunch of stuff that I want to take in a cardboard box. Hopefully these don't get broken. I'm going to try to pack them really well and then just ship it and then I don't have to bring anything back with me. I just throw away the cardboard box. And of course, Make-A-Wish Foundation. Thank you all for watching my Maker's Care video and becoming a part of that. I'm really excited to see where this is going to go. I'm not really sure where Maker's Care is going to be headed in the future. All I know is in the short term right now because 
just planning that was kind of an overwhelming experience. Uh, really, I've been working on this since June. But I think that we have a real potential to raise some serious funds. And a lot of you have already posted your pictures over there at makerscare.org, which was also overwhelming. I never expected that many to come in so quickly. And I was since I was in Santa Cruz all day yesterday, I didn't have time to get those pictures and put them on the website and everything. And then I got home and I was like, oh my gosh, there's like 50 of them or something. So I spent all this morning uploading all of those into the gallery and then there's still more. And a couple of you have already posted videos on there and that's really cool too. And I really hope any of you who are YouTubers that you will make a video of an airplane. It can be a how-to video or maybe just do something really cool with an airplane. I don't know, something. I, the whole point of this is I wanted it to be as open-ended as possible, as few rules as possible. I mean, some people are, you know, submitting pictures of paper airplanes. I, you know, I don't care. That's fine. As every, If somebody goes to the effort to do that, it's making a difference. So anyways, please uh, check out makerscare.org and get involved. Really looking forward to going out to the Woodworking in America conference in Kansas City next week, like I mentioned. Don't forget, Mega Mimo Meetup will be next Saturday evening. I'm arriving in Kansas City Friday evening, so I'm not gonna be at the show on Friday. I've gotta upload a video for Friday and all that stuff. So I'll be Friday evening, I'll be in Kansas City, and then Saturday I'll be in the the show floor and then there's a booth down there too of other video youtubers and so there's a time when i'm going to be on the, i don't i don't remember what the time is i'll have to look that up uh, but you can you can find that information on videowoodworkers.com so come over and say hi and take a picture don't forget super bowl predictions down below talk to you guys later